everybody and welcome to your next C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to be learning about inheritance. Now uh, let me explain what uh, inheritance is. So inheritance uh, allows us to uh, derive, um, have like parent classes and child classes and have child classes derived from the parent class. And I know that doesn't mean much to somebody who hasn't done inheritance before um, using any other language or whatever, but uh, so I'll explain it like this. Okay, so let's say um, you have, uh, you're doing something for English, right? You're writing an essay for English and you're writing a rough draft, okay? Now, uh, let's say uh, you do your rough draft and your teacher's like, okay, that was really good but you need to add in a few more stuff for your final copy. Now, wouldn't it be annoying if you had to retype the whole rough draft again and then add in a few stuff again? Or wouldn't it be easier if you were just to copy and paste what you had in your rough draft and then add in what you need to add in? Uh, that is what essentially uh, inheritance does. So it allows us to kind of copy... Uh, copy contents from other classes and paste it in another class so that we don't have to rewrite it again in a general sense so let us uh do this example by creating a class called entity and uh what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make this private and within here we're just gonna have a health variable and we'll have a public section and instead of making that private make it protected sorry and in the public section I uh, have of uh, set health and we'll say health is equal to value and then we'll have a uh, display health Okay, so I'm not sure why it's saying health is undefined. Oh, I spelled it wrong. Okay, so now we have a regular class. We have a class called entity, right? Now, an uh, entity can be anything. It could be uh, a being, an object, whatever, right? So let's let's create two other classes. Uh, we'll make a player class. And we'll make an enemy class. Now let's say we, we're making an RPG or whatever, right? Uh, a player and an enemy both have health, correct? Um, and what if you want to be able to set the health and display the enemy's health, right? Like have a health bar or something like that, right? So we can agree that both the player and the enemy have health. So just like the rough draft example, say we want to um, take kind of this code and copy into here. And to the next class, we could easily, if we wanted to, we could copy and paste this and and put it in there and do the same for the enemy class but why go through all that effort if they're all going to be the same thing so if we do this if we put the colon and for now we're going to put this as public and i'll explain more in depth about what this access specifier does but if we do public entity entity here and we'll do this for enemy too All the contents from the entity class just have been copied to the player class. Now, just to note right now that it is um, because pl the player class is inheriting from the entity class doesn't mean that they share the same variable health. It just means that we've kind of copied and pasted this in, in this here by just adding this line right here. So if you don't really believe me or understand what I'm saying, I'm going to create an instance of the player class. 
Now, I have nothing in my player class tonight right now, but if I do player dot set health, notice I could do that. I could set a health for it, and I can display the health. And to show you that I'm not lying, I'm going to run this program. I just gotta wait for it to compile. Uh, so while this is okay, actually it's done. So if you notice, uh, we set our health to ten, and we displayed our health, and it displayed the health as ten. So even though, even though we never sp specified anything when the player class, it copied these methods and uh, this variable, and placed it in the player class. So remember. Uh, the health variable, they're both seen as different. So if I created an instance of the entity class, uh, and I called entity dot um, display health, it wouldn't have a value for health. They're two different variables, but it's like you copy and paste it into there, so it has its own separate functions, right? Uh, so uh, the to explain why this is useful, why I can you could probably see why this is very useful, right? But the thing about object-oriented programming and design and such is that we don't want to really, um, we, we believe in reusable code, right? Or, or not having to type the same thing over and over again, right? That's the reason why we have like functions and stuff like that. We have functions so that we can call upon it whenever we need to so we don't have to write the same thing over and over again. That is the, the, uh, one of the main reasons for a function. So the same way inheritance works with classes, we can do we can derive from other classes. So in this case, the parent class would be entity class. So we can copy all these details from the entity class and place it within the player class. And same for the enemy class. So the question is, when do we use inheritance? We use inheritance when uh, we have something that is common within another class where we wouldn't need to where there would be no point in rewriting the same thing over and over again there would be no point in rewriting uh health set health and display health in the player and enemy class if we can simply derive it from the entity class it saves lines of code and it saves time now uh to to explain kind of what this public does okay and kind of explain more in depth about protected so we know that if a variable is private, then uh, only that class itself can access it, right? But if we do something, if we set it as protected, then only that class or anything that is deriving from that class can access that variable. So if we had to set this to private, then it wouldn't copy the health variable to the player class. So health wouldn't exist in the player class at all. But because we set it to protected, then it would copy it will copy the health variable and paste it in the player class as well. Okay. Uh, so um, so what does this public mean? Okay. So this lets us know that the the highest value that you you um the contest will be copied to. So f this is saying that uh, if I was to set this to protected, right? This means that anything that is pre uh, that like anything that's public, anything that you transfer over that is public or anything that is higher than a protected level will be in the protected section in the player class, right? So this will be the same as saying, uh, like this will be the same as taking these uh, these methods, but making them protected. That's what that is saying. So if I was to set this as private. Anything that is uh, higher than private, which would be public and protected, all of these variables will be set to private. So it'd be private. All of these very uh, would be private, including health. So most of the times you'll see this public. So once you do this public, uh, every the way it's displayed in the uh, entity class is the same way. And the same way it's displayed in the parent class is the same way it will be copied into this class. And most times that's the way you would like it to be because you'd want it to be like a model of the parent class. Uh, so 
um that that's a good thing about it so a quick overview uh before i end this video because i don't want you guys to get a bit confused uh we and i hope i might make a next video if i don't feel like i explain everything properly but with inheritance i if you get confused think of it as copying and pasting a code from the entity from the parent class and pasting it in the base class so whenever we um inherit we use a colon set an access specifier and the parent class where we're trying to inherit from and then all its contents that uh whether it be protected or public will be copied into the other class and we can use that as, as, our, as our own now another thing to note um the player and enemy classes probably aren't going to be exactly the same right you might have some things the player has that the enemy won't have let's say um let's say armor say the enemy doesn't have any armor right so we could still add in certain things so we could say uh i don't know let's just make armor an int or whatever right uh so we could add something else here and for uh, the or like we can add an experience right because the enemy doesn't have experience when you kill it that it gives you experience but it doesn't actually have an experience attribute so you could add that in there right so this won't be in the enemy class it's it's um specific to the player class but the main content that we actually needed was copied and pasted directly into the player and enemy classes so we got what we want and we didn't have to retype code so inheritance is a good way in order to not have to retype code and um, have reusable code and it's an important part when we get into polymorphism which is another which is the biggest and hardest part of object oriented programming and design so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope you learned something if you are confused uh, don't be afraid to post a question on my forum, ask a question in the comment below, or or simply inbox me. It's, it's fine. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and bye.